to the History Hunter. Welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. Look at this beautiful weather. We are out. We're going to find some German secrets up in the hillsides. So join us and let's go out and find the path together. We are at a German, a last German gun position. We don't know too much about it, but there are some details here. Eagle Eye are pointing them out, different kinds of arrows there. And uh, I think there was a 10 centimeter gun here once. I think there's a tunnel system. Yeah, there are some features up there. Uh, maybe some barrack foundations, machine gun bunkers, air raid shelters, trenches. We absolutely don't know for 100% sure. But what we can tell you is that there are several features here that we don't know anything about. And we will share them with you here today. And we'll find history together. That's the first thing that comes up. Remember the Atlantic Wall was the fortification line that the Germans put up from the south of France to the top of Scandinavia. So many very, very strange structures everywhere. This is one of them. Very heavy duty. With the, the wall is about one and a half meter in rock and concrete, slammed together. And uh, I think that's the original roofing there actually. And that would probably have been one kind of uh, either storage or makeshift barrack. I really couldn't tell you. But look at that, it's very, very strange. But it's heavy duty built and uh, that's how they did it in the area here. And so, probably farmer stuff. You see the top there with the roof, heavy duty poles. And right there, there would have been a uh, oven very often what we call a bunker or barrack oven, driven and uh, running on coal. Seen that in many, many of my videos. This thing is, as I said, easily been the living quarters for a couple of guys here, just having somewhere to go in the bad weather situations when they were on guard, guarding the gun and all of that. So hopefully we'll be able to find that. These hills are very typical for the area and region. Very difficult to do near combat situations because it is all up to who's on the higher grounds and the Germans were always at. They had fortified the positions with, uh, you see that little line of rock there? That is not agricultural or farmer stuff. That is actually a near defense positions that the Germans established to be able to defend the uh, area just around. The first thing there, you saw the barrack. So there's supposed to be a tunnel somewhere here. So. I'm gonna see if we can find that. Yes, the one who seeks will find. You can see it? It's actually a cave. I'm not sure whether it is a tunnel. Oh, it's actually a see-through tunnel. <laughs> I've never seen that before. See that? You can actually see the entrance and the exit. Why is that here? It could have been a, let me see, is that soggy? Well, we can go. That is very strange. You can go in and go out. <laughs> Why did it do it like this? Then I'm thinking maybe a munition storage or a bomb air raid shelter. I think an air raid shelter. There could be a surprise up there. I couldn't tell you. It's gonna be very hard to get out from there. Oh, I have to crawl. I'm gonna get dirty. <laughs> okay, let me see. Oops. Oh, have a backpack, you know, with a lot of gear. So here we go. Ooh. Yeah. Right on. Okay. Now I understand because suddenly there is another structure. Boom, right there. Can you see it? So we didn't even need the flashlight. Let us see what we have here. Yeah, it's crumbled and fallen in. This is not easy to understand, but you can actually see it here. If you see this massive wall that used to be on the outside, that is the actual roof. Then you can see the side walls, and uh, this is where they came in from that side there. This is also one of the barracks, but it's fallen down. Just totally wasted now. See here, just outside the other barrack here, 10 meters from the wall, they created another fighting position. 
I dug down, stacked some rocks, and I have a beautiful fighting position right there. Beautiful terrain, and it's so much fun to do. Really enjoy sharing with you. Hope you support us by watching the videos in full length. That's the absolutely best way you can support us. And uh, if you watch more of our videos, check out the ads, all of that, that's cool. Also, a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. You are absolutely the guys and girls who are making this come true. Couldn't have done it without you and all the experiences and the images and the places that we go to. It is actually thanks to your kind support that we can do it. And uh, we feel really privileged and honored to be able to do this. I told you, some of the Atlantic World fortification positions that the Germans had were, are so weird. Can you see that thing? Completely camouflaged in the terrain there. I haven't got a clue of what it is. But we're going to go down and see if that's another of the very special barracks or what it is. Look at that thing there. It's taken out of a movie or something. It doesn't look like a German installation whatsoever. But it is. Actually is. It definitely is. And the Germans were here. And they probably used this as living quarters. It's very rough here. Yeah, it's basically the same as the other one. And inside here, yeah, right there. There used to be a oven, a chimney, you see that? You can actually see the rest leftovers there. The chimney stack is up there. And there you can actually see, there's an old, let me see, is that an old wrench there? That's actually an old wrench. Just laying there, holy cracker. I wonder what type it is. That could have been there all the way since the war actually. So this is where they heated up the barrack. That's the proof of it being a barrack. There are some wood stuff. Actually, you can actually see the roof structure here. Still kind of complete. It's fallen down. I'm not sure. They used to, oh, I can see. There used to be some huge wood planks, round planks coming out here. They've been taken away very often. They did that. They needed the timber after the war and they wanted revenge. They wanted the Germans out of here and they took whatever was here. Looks like there's a leftover of a door or something there. Ah, uh, fascinating. We thought that was a tunnel entrance, but Germans also used the half pipe metal structures to uh, create tunnels and uh, shelters out there. This is not one of them, but I think that's the actual material that they use. So it could easily have been that the farmer used that for something. The untrained eye, you see this terrain, you see some details that you kind of can say something about. Well, let me show you. See that little line up here? It goes like up here. Why is there a line up there? I think they could have put something up there and they needed to make a little path, a little road with gravel and rocks to get up and drag equipment or concrete and stuff like that. So let's see if we are right. It is a huge treat for us to be able to share all these images. And we do have to say we appreciate each and every one of you watching, commenting, especially commenting. That's really cool. And uh, we can't wait to the next adventure. So just stay tuned and we'll show you more. Holy moly. All right. Where are we right? We are. There's a barrack foundation right there. There is something on the top of that hill and let me see if I can get you in there. See that? <laughs> we will right. So what do we do first? Let's take the barrack foundation and check that out. And then up to that incredible top there. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> we are completely knackered. <sighs> it is fun. It is absolutely fun. And it's such a pleasure to share our material. But I can tell you, sometimes it's a pain in the butt. And I got this little eagle eye dude running around with me and he's killing it. He's so agile, so young, and I hate to be old. <laughs> well, here you can see it. Definitely a barrack foundation up here. And we are so sorry that we forgot our drink in the car further down here which is about 20 minutes walks from here ah all right that's the staircase and uh, there is something 
all the way up there. And as I said, I'm gonna check out that little thing up there also. Wow, fantastic. Finally some payback. Oh my goodness, this is so stressful. I need to get rid of the backpack. It's too heavy with gear and oh, cameras and batteries. Ah, see if we can do the last thing there. See there, it's the base of the barrack. And on the top, just this very little shelter. We thought there would be a anti aircraft Oh, I can see what's going on. And uh, that little thing, it's just an air raid shelter. And, and um, I'm gonna show you what we think was here. Right here is a concrete plateau. And I'm guessing either a, let me see. I can't see any round fixation points, so I have to guess that will be shelter or munition storage. And then right there you would have could be an anti-aircraft gun. I couldn't tell you for sure. Could it be a generator room and a searchlight? I don't know. Maybe even the rangefinder equipment was here because we are looking for that elusive uh, gun placement, which we now think is further down. So, okay, that's what we have here. A concrete base and what seems to be like a shelter or a storage. Yeah. Eagle Eye spotted another feature and even another one further down. I don't know what that thing there is, but we're going to check that first. But first the uh, little bunk on the top there. Wow. Some of the images here are just spectacular. Look at the tree that has fallen down. And you have this bunker here. And you have this absolutely insane view of the valley. Oh, oh I can't say anything. That This is just so great. Wow, I don't know why, I just love these forgotten and lonesome pieces of German infrastructure all the way up in nowhere. I don't know, it is just concrete and rock, but this history behind it is just phenomenal. And just imagine the mind power and all the effort it took to do this. And some of these places, they were constructed very early in the war. Then they just suddenly changed their mind and said, no, we don't, we're not going to use it here. We're just going to leave it and go to another place and build a huge, you know, deployment. So some of these, they weren't even used. They were just put up there. They stood there for a few months and then they moved on and did even greater things. So very, very strange. This is just a small little room. Again, you can see nothing here. But hey, it's on a fantastic place. And the crew, what? What? Oh, there's another one down there. Oh my goodness, how did we miss that one? All right, down it is. Wow, bunker oven door. Just laying there. Is that beautiful or what, huh? That bunker door was actually on the, oh, there's a lot of ants. That was up here, servicing the German crew. I'm not gonna let that stay there. That is gonna be, that's gonna be restored. And we're actually gonna put it in one of our giveaways. No point in having that rotten away here. And how cool it would be for one of you to have this little piece of history from a German Look at position on top of a ridge on the Atlantic wall. Excellent. Oh, wow. That is pure beauty. Never mind the war history and all that. Just architectural. That is amazing. And it is still standing. And this one is a bit stranger. It's like, well, I'm not sure. Did it have a huge kind of equipment in there or what did it? You see inside here, you can actually see the wooden plank still there. And this is where the oven was. This one has kind of cracked up. You see the planks are coming down. There was a fire here once. Oh my goodness. I, I just love this. I just love this as you probably have seen so far. <laughs> wow. And what is that?
I did just put the woods on it so you can see they definitely lived inside here and again where they had the oven so now we have one of the oven lids and uh, in the end one of you are going to end up having that specific piece in your living room and you can look at it and you can say wow I have a piece of the genuine World War II history at the Atlantic wall this one is absolutely something else have you ever seen anything like it? That is magnificent. Look at how they integrated that into where the rocks are here. It looks just like the rock. You see that? The moss and the curvation. That's a masterpiece of disguise and camouflage. That is beautiful. Let's go down and check it out. I'm not sure whether we need a flashlight. Again, it's just a very very small structure like a half pipe design oh a spider web in the opening okay we can do this i hate spiders you probably know that <laughs> wow look at this place wow it's been like this for so many years this is probably also a shelter or a storage i don't know but wow Look at this, and then the opening there. Oh, we are so fortunate to see this. This is actually very, very rare. And in such good condition. It's kind of been untouched all the way since that time. You see, even the farmer's um, fences are history here. That is not a reaper or anything. That is a drill bit. That's a drill bit for drilling through the rocks. You see, that one is that. That one is that. The other one is that. And that's because there were hundreds, if not thousands of these left after the war, after all the activity that the Germans did. So that's a drill bit that a forced laborer or a prisoners of war used to drill through the, the mountain and create the things that you've seen up here. And today, a grim reminder actually of that time frame, but uh, it is here, it's still standing. It's very, very strange. All right, we're working ourselves way down from here. And there is the gun placement, the actual gun placement that was there. Just one single gun was ever placed there for just a very, very short time. So that is right there. But there are some features here that I wanted to show. See that? That looks interesting. I'm thinking that is actually machine gun Tobrox. And Eagle Eye has also found something else. So let's continue the trip down the hill here and see if we can show the last few details. Closed off, there's a little Regelbau. Machine gun Tobrox. Wow, how beautiful to see. See if I can actually get you down there. Yeah, the munition storage would be down there. It's a lot of trash. Is that a munition box? I couldn't tell you. I haven't got a clue. But this is so cool. Right down here, there would be a German soldier arming a MG. And uh, seems like there was some kind of communication cable coming out from the wall there. Let me see if I can get you down there. That is really seen. See that hole there with that tube coming out? I think they could have had some communication cable system there. So under here, machine gun Tobruk, and it was ready to fire it's just above the gun placement. I'm so tired in my legs. Where is that little bugger? You can see the concrete. Okay. Oh, he's pointing another one. Are oh, you? I'm giving up. He's never quitting. He just found something else here, so I have to go down there. All right. I'm gonna do this. Eli instructed me, show them all. I said, yeah, okay, let's do that. See that? There's one munition storage, about six meters long, empty. Then you have another munition storage, about six meters long, empty. And on the top, right there is the MG position. And uh, what? Oh, come on, give me a break. He's pointing at another one, okay. But there you go, three positions very close to each other. Well, we have come to the end. 
all the way back there you can see a small little slit that is actually the gun pit the 360 start like here over there over here back to here and here and the entrance and the munition storages were up there so nothing much to see here today to be honest it was hardly used I think they fired one practice round out of this place and then they just left it and moved everything to another location and all you can see here today are these huge metal attachment bolts still standing in a 360 degree circle see here that's all you can see of what used to be and that could easily have been one of the munition storages or maybe a rangefinder i couldn't tell you we are definitely surrounded by the german world war ii activity here from the gun pit to munition storages to the bunkers to the uh, passages in the mountainside to the barrack foundations to the flak positions on the top the machine gun bunker on there up the top of the hill there wow this has been such an amazing trip we never expected this we were thinking about three or four targets to look at but this is absolutely wild hope you enjoyed this little ride back in time for me and eagle eyes <laughs> we have really had a blast here and uh, we're definitely coming back because this was really fun hope you're safe out there you have to keep smiling you know and we will definitely meet you out there in the very very next adventure stay safe see you later and goodbye